Well, I always remember that special smile, that caring heart, the warm embraces you always gave us. Thank you for being there for us to the good and bad times. Well, I always remember you, Grandpa, because there will never be another one to replace you in our hearts and the love we will always have for you. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I love you. My dad was special to me because he showed me the true meaning of family. And things won't be the same being in Chicago, not seeing him sitting in his chair or being there for Christmas. But even though he's not here, I know he's still here watching over us. And I love you and I miss you, Granddad. My grandfather. It felt like just yesterday we were watching his favorite old Western show, Bonanza. You know, his life was like a bonanza. Not the show, but the word. The word bonanza means a blessing, a bonus, and jackpot. A godsend. For 16 years, that's what he was to me. Everything a person is or ever could be is what he was to me. Not only was he an amazing grandfather, but he was an amazing friend as well. I will miss you and I will love you always, granddad. I will celebrate your life. You're the best granddad I could ever have. My grandfather was an extraordinary individual, and I'm going to miss him like crazy. Like, I'm, I won't be able to go up to Chicago now and sit down with him and watch old Western movies with him. And it's just not going to be the same, him not being there with us anymore. But I'm going to miss him so much, and I, I love him. And he's, in, he's always going to be looking over me, looking out for me, and still above me, telling me from right or wrong. I love him so much, and I'm going to miss him. Um, I was just here for great-grandpa, and I used to, when he when got haircuts, I got it from Chicago. He lived in Chicago, so we visited him every time, and I just loved him. He didn't really do lose any teeth. I don't care. I lost seven since I was four. And I'm almost seven. So, I miss him.
That's a whole lot of cheering. <laughs> Being a six of six. It took me a little while to get here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Answer to Joseph. Y'all yeah. right. know that could have been a lot longer. Yeah. Right here. 87 years old. Married to the same woman for 66 and a half years. Who does that?
to this great family. The scripture says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. So I'm going to pray and ask you to pray that the Lord will get me through this. Yes. Because, like so many of you, my last name is not big. But this is family. And I want the family to know how much I appreciate the honor that you have given them to read about his life. The life of a great man of God. Great because he surrendered and great because he followed. And his direction was the direction of the Lord. The Lord, we thank you for that. But not only was he a great man of God, he was also a husband, yes. a father, yes. a brother, an uncle, yes. a friend, a businessman. Yes. Read silently, please, as I read. On August 26, 1926, the county midwife in Cleveland, Mississippi, advised the proud parents, Arthur P. Bell C. and Minnie Hopkins Bell, of the birth of their son, Alonzo Bell. He was one of nine children. Also born to this union were his beloved sisters and brothers, Avon Smith, Ernest Bell, Arthur D. Bell, Willie B. Broadwater, Mabel Doris Richardson, and the devoted baby girl, Shirley Louise Bell. All who predeceased him. One brother Bobby died in birth. His only surviving sister and constant companion is James C. Bell. When Alonzo was a very young boy, the family experienced the brutal death of their mother, Minnie, at the hands of an enraged neighbor because Minnie befriended his battered wife. The bullet grazed. Alonzo's head, and he survived, but his mother did not. That left Arthur, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That privilege and tradition continues today. Now, the meeting and marriage of Alonzo to Leola was kissing. Listen carefully. Leola, baby sister Broadwater, often babysat for her older brother, Samuel Andrew Broadwater, and sister-in-law, Willie B. Formerly there. Rumor says that Alonzo would always happen to show up to visit his sister, Willie B., whenever the older was watching the kids. I wonder why. <laughs> We can all speculate about who chased whom, but we know that God put them together. They married August 11, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois, and to his union was born six children, Alonzo Jr., Angelia Marie, Cynthia Adelie, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> <don't let> <laughs> Over the years, he employed many young people in an effort to help them further their education and build character. As a testament to his influence and stability in the community, 100 South Halston was renamed Reverend Alonzo Bell Sr. Drive. Yes. Yes. In his honor three years ago, the ceremony brought out many well wishes and community leaders. Reverend Bell was also the recipient of the African American Male Images Award. This recognition was given to an outstanding male within the community, the family, workplace, and church. On February 26, 2012, in conjunction with Black <coughs> History Month, the Ladies' Night of Peter Claver, Court Number 181, who Jeff <laughs> 
there all together. Couldn't sing a lick between the three of us. Uh, what'd you say? Just walk a mile in my shoes 